Well, how are you, JJ? And, and most importantly, how happy are you to be uh, to be joining Dragons? It must be very exciting for it to to finally be announced. Yeah, absolutely delighted. Um, it's great that it's finally announced. Um, I can actually start telling some people now and <laughs> and breaking the news, which is which is uh, actually I, something I quite enjoy. Um, I'm very very excited to be coming to Dragons um, next season. Um, and particularly that it's kind of a longer term deal. It's something that I can get to bite my teeth into and um, feel a part of a group. And um, I'm really looking forward to what's in the future. Absolutely. And you you already know that you've got some fans, especially on Zoom tonight, JJ. But what was it about the Dragons that made you decide that this was the right move for you? Uh, well, for me, I suppose I started out with a conversation with Dean. And when I spoke yeah. to him, um, Basically, his, his passion and I suppose his drive and commitment to where he wanted to get the club to really kind of came through in the conversation. And mm. then I obviously did my own research and you look into facilities in terms of training facilities and you look into the squad. And for me, there's a really, really good mix of top level world class internationals and some really quality young players. Some of them are on the, on the, on the call tonight. And um, for me, having that, that mix um, is, is really, really important in a group. And hopefully I can come in and add some value and um, we can take the region to, to new heights in the next couple of years. Oh, it's fantastic to hear. And you must be looking forward to getting back in the United Rugby Championship. <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. Um, it's it's uh, it's a competition I obviously know well from my time in Ireland with Munster. Um, yeah. It's a competition that's growing in competitiveness all the time. I think you can see that, particularly the introduction of some South African teams as well. Um, yeah, so it's really exciting. Um, it's not it's not an easy competition by any means. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting back and, uh, and testing myself with that in that, that competition again. So come on then, JJ. How what I mean, what have you learned from your spell with Clement in France, and and what are you going to bring to us here at Dragons? <laughs> I've learned a lot by the French language. <laughs> um, so no, it's been um, it's been it's been a great experience uh, so far. We're six seven months in now at this stage, and um, one thing I suppose for me getting away from Munster. Um, in terms of obviously very comfortable with the structures they had there and coming to a team like Claremont, which is a very much a different philosophy, a different DNA. And the way rugby's played in France, it's um, it, it's very different and quite unique at times. And mm -hmm. um, so to, to kind of learn that experience and I suppose to find different ways to skin a, skin a cat for the want of another word is um, it's <laughs> been a great learning for me. And um, hopefully it's something I can potentially bring to Dragons and uh, for me also um, I suppose learning the way Dragons play going forward but also if I can bring something from here it'd be great. Fantastic and uh, JJ you, you'll learn very quickly that there is a brilliant sense of community uh, around the club around you know Rodney Parade around the Dragons itself and uh, I suppose uh, my, my final question to you is what message do you have for all the supporters looking ahead to next season? Um, I suppose firstly I want to I want to thank them all for how nice they've been to me in the last few hours alone and um, just coming along and some of the messages that I've got have been some very very nice and have been incredible really um, and I suppose just keep supporting the boys Um I suppose they're going to be I suppose the fans are everything in terms of getting it going and it's quickly after COVID mm -hmm. and lockdown I suppose the support is everything and the boys really love it on the field and um, I'm looking forward to getting there next year and playing in front of a Rodney Parade crowd.